I'm not going with you. Uh, I, I was proud of our guys. You know, thank goodness they fought, and I thought their effort was really good because our execution was awful. Uh, in concert with them playing really well. I thought they did some great things. I thought they had a lot of energy. I thought Burnett was terrific off the bench. Um, I thought they came up with timely baskets when they needed them. I thought that um, um, the two there back to back, when we had cut it to two, I think the kid Sherman makes a three in the left corner. And then uh, McClellan uh, back cuts, makes a great read on the one action for a dunk. I thought those were two really big possessions in the game. You know, give them credit. I thought they played really well. Um, you know, I, and, and uh, I thought they were really hard to guard. Defensively for us, we did not guard the bounce very well, and it's hard to do that against them. They put four guards out there a lot tonight. They spread the floor. Those guys are really good players. They spread us out, and they make good plays. Um, you know, we fouled a little bit too much in the first half, but again, they forced the issue there. Got to give them credit. Uh, you know, I, at the end of the day, if you'd have told me the rebound margin was going to be even, we turn the ball over seven times, holding the 38% from the field and 30% from three. I probably would have told you we'd have won. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we? Uh, I thought they guarded us really well. As I said, they had players make plays. And I thought our offense was out of character. You know, one assist on nine field goals, that's not the way we play in the first half. And uh, give them credit. Um, I thought we had, even though it says seven turnovers, I thought we had several shooting turnovers, which is what I call bad shots. And I think our guys got caught up in the moment a little bit. Uh, I think uh, Nick Saban over the weekend after the Iron Bowl called it misplaced emotion. And uh, I, I, I think our heart was in the right place. We just we got to figure out how to play a heck of a lot smarter uh, than what we played tonight. But you mentioned Burnett. I mean, when you come in here, you have to you know, plan for Angel Rodriguez, sure. McClellan. How surprising was that for that? Well, I mean, I know he's talented, and I know he's wired to score. We certainly knew that coming in. Um, but uh, I, I thought he was a real X factor. I think you hit the nail right on the head. I thought he was a real X factor uh, in the game. Um, I thought his ability to drive the basketball, make plays, he made threes. Um, you know, he scored the ball for him. Uh, you know, if we went into the game thinking he was going to get 19, I would say I probably didn't think that. You know, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But give the kid credit. He was ready to play. You could tell he was energized. He had an aggressiveness about him. Uh, I thought he played really well tonight. Contribute the shooting percentages to, to the, when you're talking about bad shots and, and turnovers by shooting and all that. Yeah, I think some of them we just missed. I, I would say, Marcus, my gut tells me not watching the film, 50% of them we just missed, and then 50% I just thought we were out of rhythm a little bit. Give them credit uh, for defending us. Um, but we need to be a little bit more patient. Let the offense work uh, uh, for us. Trust the system a little bit more. Um, we got a lot of competitive guys in my locker room, and they, you know, I thought some of them tried to step up. Like, you know, for example, Rice, who played really, really well. You know, he had the three in front of the bench from about downtown Champaign <laughs> over Ja'Curry, who's a center. And I got a lot of respect for that kid. He plays really hard. But you got to drive the center there. I mean, he's closing out at 25 feet. You know, and, and, I'm, and we have plays like that throughout the game with all of our guys. Uh, certainly not trying to single out Ray because I thought Ray was terrific uh, tonight. Um, but we just didn't play with an intelligence and a purpose that we needed to play with on, on the offensive end. Uh, you say out of character. It seemed like Nana was uncharacteristically out of position on defense and offense a couple of times. I don't know. I think he gave up the one three there to Sherman when he overhelped a little bit, Rob. But all in all, I, I, I thought his shots that he took were good ones. He had the one out of the timeout right in front of the rim, and he missed it. Uh, he had a short jumper in the short corner with no one around. He missed it. I thought his three threes he had in the first half. You know, he just made you know two of those in Vegas. You know, with that tie, he just didn't make them. You know, I, I thought his shot selection, without watching the film, was pretty good. He just didn't make shots. Take the reverse of that Jakari play where Ray should have driven, and, and Nana got driven by you know. Guy. On ball screen coverage a little bit, he, the guys turn the corner. Those guards are good. They're good. I mean, they, they, they do a good job. They run good stuff. They keep the floor spread. They have great spacing. I thought their guards played really well. Is that more of Nana's responsibility or help defense? Both. All three. Guy guarding the ball, Nana on the screen, and the three guys off the ball. You know, I, I just I didn't think we were great guarding the dribble tonight. Now, that's easier said than done. They're good on offense now. I mean, they're, really, they're fourth in the country in offensive efficiency coming in the game for a reason. I mean, those guards are good. I mean, those guys can play. I mean, they're really good players that can shoot, pass, and dribble. They spread you out, and they put you in situations where you have to make decisions. 
and you're picking your poison. You know, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul, and uh, give them a lot of credit uh, for the way they played. You talk about emotion versus emotional coming into this game. You feel like you guys are a little, a little too amped up for it. A little bit, yeah, a little bit, um, especially just out of character, a little bit on the on the offensive end. But we'll we'll get that figured out. I mean, we're a good basketball team that I think has a chance to be really, really good. Uh, just tonight we weren't that, uh, and again, a big part of that was Miami, and then a big part of that is we didn't control the things we could control. You mentioned um, Burnett and then the way they defended. Was there anything they did tonight that surprised you at all, at maybe their efficiency or how well they did it? Defensively or offensively? Either or. Whatever. No, not offensively. I thought, you know, I thought we'd be able to guard the bounce a little bit better than we did tonight. I've mm -hmm. seen us do that uh, in person. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on you in that regard. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was maybe what stood out there. And then offensively for us, I thought we, I thought we let them off the hook too many times. Uh, I thought they, their quality of shot, uh, to their credit, I thought was better than our quality of shot. I, 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 I do, I, you know. And again, I haven't watched the film yet, but that's my gut feeling. And you would make these mini runs, at them, and then they would seem to respond. Yeah, especially the one I alluded to earlier. I thought yeah. that was the biggest response. 48-46. Right. You know, late in the game, I don't know how much time was left, but it had to be under 10 for sure, maybe under eight. And then Sherman makes the three. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a big play. McClellan gets the back cut dunk. Now it's all of a sudden, bam, it's right back to seven, right back to a three-possession game. I thought that was a really big juncture in the game. Yeah, no, I think they got about 12. I think they Did they? Yeah, so they responded, yeah. I thought our ability to get timely stops and to get timely scores uh, wasn't great. And, uh, again, you got to give them credit for manufacturing that. They create that. You know, so I, you know, I, I, thought, uh, I thought they played well. Got time for two more if we have them. Get some bright spots. You had, like, more points in the paint, two and a half times many second chance points yeah. and uh, fast break points. Yeah, it's really an odd stat sheet. That's why I said earlier it's strange. Like, you know, I think most coaches, if you said even rebound margin, seven turnovers, held a opponent to 38%, 30 from three, and they're probably going to be like, well, I mean, you know, I'm not a gambler, so mm -hmm. I'm probably betting that you won that. You know, it just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, I think a lot of that was because if you look at our offensive percentages, you know, they did a great job defending us in concert with some, I thought, some possessions where we had some shooting turnovers. Yeah. We got just a little bit over-anxious, and the combination of those two things, I, I thought, in, at the end of the day, kind of did us in. How weary does it become? Last when question when, here. How weary does it become when you're, you're, you're getting back up, you're getting down within one, one possession, yeah. and then you're back down to three or four, and then you get back up to one? Just, is, it, is there a, kind of an overall effect on that? Or? Great question. Um, you know, you got to be tough mentally, obviously. The basketball is a game of runs. It really is. And, uh, you know, for us, we're trying to play about the same way for about 35 minutes and then figure out what the time and score is with five to go and figure out how to play the last five minutes in, in, a, in a way that, that allows you, that gives you the best chance to win the game. Um, so we, we are aware that it's a game of runs. We've got an older team. I think that's really hard for younger teams because you've got to be mentally tough to keep playing and understand that it is a game of runs. I didn't think toughness tonight or effort tonight was was our issue. I just thought it was better execution by Miami than what we had tonight. Thank you.